Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be a doing my makeup in a reverse. So basically, you know how you start out with primer, then you go to foundation, concealer. No. We're starting out with setting spray. And then what's next? What do I do before setting spray? Then I do, I do lipstick. So you know, it's just gonna be completely in reverse and I'm scared. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, so I guess we're gonna start out with a setting spray. So I'm gonna take this L'Oreal little infallible thing and I'm gonna spray that on my face. Whew. Okay, fun. I think I wanna do like a bold lip, like a red. Yeah. Or this one. I'm gonna go with this one. Okay, so for lips, I'm taking the Kylie Cosmetics Velvet Lipstick in Rad. So we're gonna put this girly on. Wait, should I do this? Because like, I have to do eyeshadow. And this wouldn't go with a lot. Yeah, we're doing it. Ooh, girl, that's more orange than I thought it was going to be. Wow, I love being bold. That's honestly gorgeous, though. Like, not even about to lie. This challenge is literally going to get on my nerves so much. Because when I do my makeup, I'm so particular, so... Ew, this one's got teeth look green. Gross. Green? This one's got teeth look yellow. I'm just not gonna smile for the rest of the video because colors like this, like warm tones... Oh, bro, it looks so yellow. That's no fun. I'm just digging this lip, though. So, next, what I do for lips... Hmm. What do I do for lips? Highlight. I do highlighter. So I'm going to use... Let's see. What do I want to use? I'm going to take the Maybelline Master Chrome in Rose Gold. And I apply her. Like it even matters. It's literally going to disappear. Mm, she's pretty though. I'm just going to highlight the normal spots that I would highlight. <laughs> that smudge on. Oh man, that did. Oops. <laughs> Get the nose. Oof, yes. You know what I discovered? A lot of people don't like, like, blinding nose highlights. And I'm just kind of like, what? Like, like why? It looks, it looks so cute. Like, am I wrong? Am I wrong? So I'm gonna add some in the inner corner. Brow bone. Okay, so we have highlighter on. It's super pretty. What do before highlight? This is where it gets tricky because I honestly, I kind of forget. Y'all, I really forget what I do before highlight. Do I do brows before highlight? No, I do eyeshadow before highlight and then brows. Oh my god, that's gonna... No, I can't do that. I can't do eyeshadow and then brows because I have to clean them up. How does that even make sense? Okay. <clears throat> so we're gonna do eyeshadow. That's fun. Should I use this palette? I've never used this on camera. And I've only used it like once, to be honest, off camera. And it's an affordable thing. It's an e.l.f. palette. Should I use this? Wait! I primed my eyes before I shadow. Oh no, that's not gonna work. I guess we just aren't priming our eyes today. Ugh, that's gross. I can't, I can't. This is hard. I'm already regretting my decision. So anyways, I'm going to the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette in Summer Breeze. 
looks like this all matte eyeshadow my vibe honestly i'm gonna take this brush right here it's kind of like dense but also still fluffy and i'm gonna take the first color right here kind of that cream and i'm gonna like pack that on my eye as like a base since i don't have concealer to prime which is upsetting guys i just can't get over how to do my brows after i shut up like i don't see how people do that to be real with you like how do you do brows after eyeshadow i will never understand um never will i ever understand that now i'm gonna go into this color right here it's the third color i'm going with a morphe m441 and i'm gonna take that into the crease This is a really good eyeshadow palette, by the way. I know I've never used it on camera, and I said I've only used it, like, once off camera. But it's not even that bad. It's just I have so many other eyeshadow palettes that I just like better. But this isn't even a bad eyeshadow palette. Don't cover me. I swear it's not that bad. It's not bad at all, really. It blends. It has pigment. The eyeshadows are super soft. It's really pretty. I just don't use it a lot. And it's affordable, so I was like, why not use it, you know? So I'm just building that color that I showed you before. Honestly, that's so pretty. Should I keep it at that? I mean, I still did eyeshadow, right? I might keep it at that. That's so stunning. Dang, now I want to do liner, but I should had to do that before eyeshadow, so now we can't do liner, guys. It's out. Can't do it. Okay, right, so I guess that's all... I'm mixing that color like a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, sorry guys. I have like the sniffles. So I'm sorry. I'm gonna take the smallest amount of this color right here. It's kind of like a more deep mustard color. And I'm just gonna like fluff that, like run it through basically, just on top. Can't get too wild with the colors now because we have a wild lip. You know? It's like Pim Doss. If you do a wild lip, cancel out the wild eye. You can't do both. Pim Doss. So that's all I'm doing for eyes. That's, oh wait, wait. Bro, I'm gonna do my lower lash line. Wait. No, I do lower lash, can't do lower lash line because I forgot to do it before the top. Guys, if I mess any of this up, like any of the steps, I am so sorry. Like, I don't even know my own makeup routine. I know. I do before eyeshadow what do i do guys tell me comments below we gotta do brows that's not fun also i didn't put on mascara before eyeshadow because i already i already have mascara on that's what i wore to school so don't cover me how am i supposed to clean them up without getting the concealer and the eyeshadow don't ask me i'm gonna go with the maybelline total temptation brow pencil and medium brown and we're going to slay these brows without messing up our eyeshadow. Honestly, I'm digging this lip. That's stunning. I'm feeling myself. Okay, so that brow's done. Well, it's not done. I have to clean it up first. Wait, I have to clean up before I do brows. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm failing at this challenge, and I'm so sorry. Does that mean I can't clean them up? Because I'm supposed to do that before brows? What's that mean? I'm scared. Um, I mean, I guess it's not that deep. Like, it's not that scary. So, I think we're good. Also, sorry about my most recent video. Like, not this video, obviously. The one before this one. Um, yeah, I just... I I haven't been feeling my best. And, like, you know, we've been in school, so I also haven't had time, really. 
and yeah I just um yeah I just haven't been in the best mood and I don't want to film and give content that is that I have bad energy in so I'd rather wait until I feel good to film a video than to film one and me be like sad in it because I don't want to do that to you guys um I want to give out good content and good content only So should I not clean up my eyebrows because I was supposed to do that before I filled them in? Or what? Like, How about I just take this Milani thing, brown eye highlighters, and I take the matte side and I just... Aw, poor brow highlight. Rest in peace. This isn't really cleaning them up. It's kind of just like... I don't know. Like tap it in basically. Tap, 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 tap. Ooh, girl. Okay. I guess that's how it's gonna be. Alright. Here are the brows, kitties. So before brows, what do I do? <clears throat> this is seriously like a whole process. Okay, bronzer. Whoa, that's gonna be bad. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can use a cream. Let's see. So before brows, I do contour bronzer, but I do bronzer before contour. So that means I have to do contour and then bronzer. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade 35 deep in the shade 35 deep and i'm going to contour with this nothing nose bro my nose highlights that's sad i'm upset about it why does this look my, like my skin tone? Like, do you... Well, I guess not. But it looks kind of, like, similar. Eh, I guess not. Whatever. So now I'm going to blend my contour in with this e.l.f. small stipple brush. This is so warm, hun. I should have used this for bronzer. Oh, no. <laughs> should use that for bronzer. Your girl. That looks... Ugly. I put too much on. That's okay though. I'm gonna turn the music up a little bit. No copyright. Ooh, girl, we got a warm forehead. This is not a contour color. What was I doing? Like, literally after this, I'm gonna bronze, and this is already bronzy enough. I feel dewy, though. I like it. Kind of digging it. Oh, my God. So, talking, like, speaking of copyright, I was on Instagram Live, right? Right. And I had music in the background, and you're like playing on my TV, like how I do in YouTube videos. And Instagram like came and interrupted my live and copyrighted me. So I had to turn the music off. But like Instagram, were you in my live? Like how did you know I was playing music? My like, conspiracy theory. So now I'm just adding the hula bronzer on top of this already bronze contour. Like, Instagram really out there copyrighting people and. I was kind of disappointed. So now do I do blush because I do that after both of those things? Or was that supposed to be before both? Oh, that was supposed to be before? Y'all, I'm messing this up. Like, I'm forgetting about stuff and I'm messing it up. I am so sorry. Don't hate me, guys. It's not that deep, though. Okay. 
Okay, so what I do? Mm, uh, I do. I set because I before setting I do concealer and then I set the concealer. So I have to add powder and then concealer. Right. <laughs> that makes sense. So what I'm gonna do? So I set my face with this matte powder and then I set my under eyes or anywhere I put concealer with the loose powder. So what do I do first? Normally, I would set my concealer first, and then under eyes, and then face. So now I have to set my face first, and then my under eyes. So I'm taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and this e.l.f. brush, just swirling it in. Lightly setting the non-existent foundation. Just lightly set her. Just dusting this powder all over. So now I'm setting my eyes. Cody airspun, but like sis, what am I setting? Like what am I setting? <laughs> Sorry girlies, I got a text and I had to go read it because it was kind of important. <gasps> Uh, Adam Lambert, my dad. Okay, so now I'm gonna bake. I'm baking this concealer, but like, just kidding. I'm baking my damn under eye. Like, oops. I'm baking even concealer. Like, what are we baking? Okay, so while I'm baking, what do I do? I bronze and contour, but I did that. Before bake, what I do? Concealer, it's before. <clears throat> so I guess now we're gonna dust off the bake. I'm using the Sigma F06. And I'm gonna dust off this bake. Now, you need Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Whoa, why is this so dried up? Okay, I guess we're good. I don't know. I'm turning this up, hun. Do you see that? That's like grabbing. Ew. Oh my god, no. Okay, good enough. Okay, so the concealer is done. We don't bake, because we just did that, obviously. Um, so what I, I'm so, uh, so before concealer, bro, foundation. Are we almost done? How? foundation i'm going to be using the nyx total control drops and i'm going to take it like how i normally do and just dot it all over my face just... oh no it already looks bad already looks terrible it looks like crust and it's emphasizing my pores so that's fine is primer is that right my correct yeah and i'm gonna apply that to where i normally would right here forehead a little bit
basically I just moved my foundation and stuff and it's like all clumped up in one spot now hey guys okay so this is the finished look I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did make sure you give a thumbs up and subscribe before you leave and honestly this was stressful but my favorite thing is the lips because they stayed strong through all that powder and sponges and yes so thumbs up to Kylie